you know, it's, it's kind of amazing um, on several different levels, some of the things that we haven't done together. One is we haven't been able to worship here in our sanctuary together yet. I've, I've not even preached from the pulpit yet. Matter of fact, the only time I've been in here is the moments like this where I just need a little bit of quiet and uh, to come and just think. Um, one of the other things that my family has continued to get used to since we've get, gotten here is, is, is the wind, right? I mean, no matter where you go, it's blowing, it seems, right now. And my wife just told me just moments ago, she's like, you know, I, I need to get a hat because every time, every time I go anywhere, uh, the wind is just blowing my hair everywhere. And I just wonder if maybe that's how you feel right now. You know, post-election, we got some stuff going on that just seems crazy. Uh, we just had an announcement with our church that seems crazy. You know, we got someone who has been tested uh, positive for COVID and is hospitalized. And just, uh, all, that doesn't count all the other stuff, right? That might be going on personally with your life. I just wanted to take a moment and just to remind you that uh, while this stuff happens in the world, and we are definitely in the world, um, we're not of it. And we have one that we can trust in who can, uh, who can help us through these problems. And I, I just wanted to read you a passage uh, today. It's about Jesus and strong wind. And I thought it was pretty, pretty appropriate. It's in Luke chapter 8, verses 22. It says this, One day he got into the boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let's go across to the other side of the lake. And so they set out, and as they sailed, he fell asleep. Jesus, he fell asleep. And the wind storm came down on the lake, and they were filling, and the, and the boat was filling with water and, and were in danger. And you know, I'm kind of getting to adjust kind of maybe what this wind looked like. I thought I might have, <laughs> may have known, but being here in Apple Valley, I, I get it now. And they went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke and rebuked the wind and raging waves, and they ceased, and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? What a question, right? And they were afraid, and they marveled, saying to one another, Who then is this that he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him? I mean, that's the God that we serve. That God who did that, his name is Jesus Christ. He is the same right now in this moment with you and all of your confusion with all of the things blowing your life around like the little bit of hair on my head I have left. Uh, that's the same God uh, who calmed the wind and the waves that did that in that day. He's the same one that is with you right now and with me, and with Church of the Valley, right? Uh, we are people of the valley, and we have a God who loves to be in the valley with his people. And so I just wanted to encourage you today to let you know that no matter what might be happening in life, um, God is still God, and there is no one that can take his place. Uh, we are still his people, and he has called us to have faith in him. So no matter how chaotic life might be, uh, just keep being reminded that Jesus is still God and he is still on his throne. Saying that, we just want to send just a quick note to you. Um, as I said re previously, we do have one now that has tested positive for COVID. So we need you to go ahead and, and go get tested if possible. Uh, there's, we got a quick link we could send to you and I actually, my entire family did it this morning. It's pretty easy, we did that. Um, uh, our health department has been contacted to let them know, hey, this is what's going on. And we want you to be honest and upfront with if the health department contacts you, just let them know uh, kind of your experience here at Church of the Valley. We're not wanting to hide anything, you know, because we're not trying to hide anything. We just we wanted to get the information to you as quick as we could. We also want you to know that as we establish more information, as we get more information, we'll share that with you. We're not going to hide stuff from you. We just found this out yesterday evening and we're already here today trying to get a video to you because we know that sometimes maybe the email doesn't work and that might be not working for you. And so please know that this week, this coming week, starting Monday, we'll have people at the phones, at the church phones there to be able to answer your phone calls should you need more information. We'll have someone there. 
I'm available to you as well any way that we can be. So we need you to do these things like we've always been saying. We need you to wear your mask, right? Whenever you're indoors, you just need to wear your mask. If you're with uh, non-family neighbors, uh, you need to make sure to social, maybe not social distance, but definitely physical distance, you know, uh, at least six feet apart. Um, being mindful of those things. Uh, we're not at a point where we feel like we need to quarantine everybody. Um, we just feel like that you need to know the information of what's going on. There might be a time when that comes, but for the moment, uh, we know of no one else but this one person that has tested positive for COVID. Um, and so I just want to reach out to you, let you know where we are as a church and what we're doing. We want you to join us Sunday for worship. While we may not gather, we will not gather in person here on the campus in any way Sunday, uh, we will be online and we want to, for you to join us. It'll be a live broadcast and we'll, we'll be with you there. Some of the parts of the service might be pre-recorded. That's just because it's so late in the week and we're trying to get a service to you because we want to worship together in whatever way we can. Uh, but we want you to know that we're doing this as a labor of love. We care for you so much, and we want you to have the information that you need to make the right decisions. So um, I won't probably see you Sunday like I normally do, but that's okay. Uh, you'll see me, and you'll hear the Word of God. That's the one thing that you always hear from Church of the Valley. You will hear the gospel, the good news, the hope of Jesus Christ. So until then, God bless you. Be safe, and uh, do us all a favor. Uh, go get tested. and. Uh, See, get those results in, okay? God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.